Expressions ya muli sambombo zene ze shabati. Njumla geo kolo saka lubisi unoma jongoti. Na mchande kesi expressions liye masiko vula lengu baka kake kakum kaka kata popesta. Kono getina si expressions si chonge the state of prisons in SA. Njumla ondi chilo ndati ndi nkolo saka lubisi. Nga chumza nsa frika mna kenji nguli ya mavomisa. Now as investigations continue into the Tabo Besta prison break and uh, crimes committed by his core accused Unandi Pamagudumana, we take a closer look at uh, what it would take for a criminal like Ubesta to escape from the justice system in South Africa. Now the question, or rather a poll question for Namtlanje Siabuzi Ndokokbana, do prisons rehabilitate or cultivate uh, criminal behavior? Do make sure you engage with us on all our social media platforms. Oh yes, Mugelu, yes, Galokin Ndokokbana, see expressions, see kusha, see kusha laze. We went to the streets, see kusha, see kusha laze. We went to the streets and this is what you had to say. Hey, Mugelu, yes, Galokin Ndokokbana, see expressions, see kusha, see kusha laze. We went to the streets and this is what you had to say. Tabo best. Who sees we abandon us a prisoner? We abandon. Bam sees he do go to a pool. I guess he ahead. I feel like in a way the justice system is working together with the criminals, so it's never fair. Everyone doesn't get justice, and Tabo best will always get away with it because in a way maybe he has money or he has power over our justice system. I think. Uh, South African prisons should like implement more of a like restorative justice system because I feel like they go but then when they come back only like a small percentage of them like actually change. I don't think it's a matter of prisons. I think um, it is the, it's a matter of who is in charge of the prisons. You know, I mean, if you look at the Tabo Besta situation, I think there's a whole lot more people involved. In order for, for these people to come out better and improve and like go out there and have a proper life, I feel like there should be a new system enabled in the whole prison thing. I say they are efficient. It's just that if you don't pay the staff enough, they get better offers. And some of those offers are just illegal. I don't think that prisons really do serve their purposes, you know, because I mean, there's a whole lot of factors that actually make these people to come out at, like more hardcore like criminals. For things like MED, I think they should bring back the what, what do you call those things? The death penalty for, 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 for such things, if, if it's proven guilty, of course. Well, of course, Zambugilwam, those are some of the voxies from the people on the street, really talking about this Tabo, Tabo Besta case, rather. But to help me unpack this a little bit further, we are joined in studio uh, by a Correctional Services spokesperson, Udata Usingabakong Malo. Thanks for joining us, Dad. Thank now, you. I, I mean, this, this is a topic that is widely being spoken about across every platform. Yes. I think just to, to, to even start with it, maybe you can uh, tell us about Umsebenzi that is being done by the correctional services and even where do they factor in when it comes to Tabo Besta case? Okay, I guess what has made the Tabo Besta escape so big is, is the manner in which the whole thing happened mm -hmm. and uh, multiple players involved. Uh, when it was brought to our attention, it was only in May of 2022 that he had committed suicide. Okay. The story starts there. Right. And it, it drags all the way up to this year because there were then conflicting statements, information coming from all angles. Mm. And as correctional services, because that facility, Mangon Correctional Center, mm -hmm. is operated by a contractor, uh, G4S, mm -hmm. then we needed then to start with the investigation because this was an unnatural death. We had nothing before us which will make us to doubt that this person committed suicide. Mm. But as we were busy with that investigation, there were many developments and many obstacles which made our work quite difficult. Mm. Hence, it took us a very long time to even come to a point where we'll say we now have findings. We even need to go out and say these are our findings, even though they were different from what the facility was telling us because they still maintain that Tabo Pesta died in mm. that cell. Mm. We then mm. said, no, but we've got evidence suggesting otherwise until only about a week ago 
then they confirm that no, indeed, it does look like an escape. Mm -hmm. And the issue then attracts a lot of players to investigate and the hard at work we've done our investigation. It is still not complete because other people of interest were removed. And, but SAPS is, is still busy with that. But I guess the whole thing just demonstrated the extent to which crime patterns, you know, have changed. Mm -hmm. Even when people are inside, the things that they're able to do, even manipulating some of the people that would have been entrusted with the mandate okay. of rehabilitating people. All right. Um, right on that note, since you're talking about rehabilitation, uh, we'll get to that in just a second. But yes. help me understand one thing and also for the viewers at home. Um, what are some of the operations that uh, the Correctional Services is involved in, especially in cases such as this? And how did we get to where we are now? Okay. Let us talk about Mangaung Correctional Center. I think, okay. I think that will assist. Yes. In South Africa, we have 243 correctional centers, but you also have two private facilities. We call them public-private um, partnership facilities. They are having a contract of 25 years. The Mangaung one will expire in 2026. Kutama Tumul will expire in 2027. Mm -hmm. And those two private uh, facilities, they operate utilizing the same Correctional Services Act. Their standard operating procedures are the same, uh, procedures are the same as what we are using in other correctional facilities. So when there were deviations from those, you then have a BESTA phenomenon mm -hmm. taking place. Mm -hmm. And as correctional services, uh, those people are contracted by us. We therefore needed to act. Hence, we said, clearly, you've lost control of this particular correctional facility. We've removed the, uh, the director of that prison and, 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 and replaced with a temporary manager from okay. correctional services. Now, what is key is that that facility continues to operate, but we've referred the contract, you know, for legal opinion to say what is to happen between now and the expiry date because many things happen there which are or which were not supposed to happen, which are not in line with the Correctional Services Act, but we're saying because it's a contract, you cannot just wake up and say, this is what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. You ought to take it to, you know, to a legal services to look into it and advise you in terms of the avenues mm -hmm. that, that, that one can explore. I, I would assume I stand to be corrected, but here we are now. Um, they haven't followed their work. They haven't done their work. Um, do you now, as correctional services, also take part or take responsibility in terms of the mishap that happened, or is it solely a G4S problem? When things like this have happened, you ought to look at it in its entirety. Mm. As a department, we've suspended Director for uh, Conduct Management because we felt that due diligence was supposed to be done mm -hmm. and but, but, when you look at other things. But okay. equally, we said G4S, how did it happen that something of this nature, when you had so many officials on shoot on that particular evening, you know, could happen? As you said, clearly you've lost control of the facility. Mm -hmm. Then remove your director. We're going to put our own person mm -hmm. to then operate and supported by others. Mm -hmm. But we said, we, let us continue to dig deep so that we are, we are not just dealing with a turbo pesta issue. What if there are other things happening there so mm -hmm. that you can, you know, also attend to them? But it's something that we must say is correctional services uh, disturbed us quite greatly and the manner, the magnitude at which mm -hmm. it happened, even the number of people implicated in it. It's something which is very disturbing. You, you therefore have to ask yourself, how did this thing happen, you know, and then mm -hmm. clearly these people did plan about this thing, you know, they executed it. Uh, I assume the way that landed, mm. and for it, where you don't even get intelligence information that there was something being cooked somewhere, that is very strange to us because our procedures are clear to say mm -hmm. you ought to monitor the movement of inmates and things which okay. have been. We're going to pause it on that note for this particular uh, moment because we have to take a quick co commercial ad break. But uh, of course, we're still in conversation with Utata Ungumalo talking about the state of prisons really in South Africa and whether do these prisons rehabilitate or rather they actually, um, um, you know. Yenza ibe yingaki enkulu lendo yokuba kukubeko imikila mkoba. Koto kwa mzuzu maskabe sinti ingi sueni. Stay with us. Right, um, Bugeliwe expressions. When I come, you know, with the Tabo Besta saga, a lot of people are asking themselves questions of Ba, Kukanja, Nikleya Zanelfana, no Dr. Nandipa, Lingazi Tikakamfu, Numtu Osejele. Well, to unpack this discussion, Sinaya Utsi Diopalingwa Dieti, Prison Love. 
uye kasixele into bana ufike njani kwelo nqana balobomi where is she now e prison love is based on my personal experience of me ndithandana nomuntu ose prison i was from a bad marriage kahle kahle i was actually running from who has been doam obega abusive it was not a romantic relationship at that point but i was just enjoying having this new person after eight weeks ndithi hi man mput dala sinqokola mina nawo uzozanini apha huye ke ngoku athathe i deep breath at yo ngiyobanzima because i'm in prison hmm Sasa saba engaged alaba. He went down on his knees with a diamond ring in. Pagathe jail. Pagathe jail. Ngathi buye enjoy yonke le. Oh bekumnandi ntase. We are trying to make sense of I mean u Dr Nandipa. Mm. Looking at her, she's well educated, mm-hmm. you know, she has a good career going yeah. on yeah. and na ku uzethe wathi ichapha nothabo best and we're trying to make sense ba yenzeke njani yonke le nto. Was it also from a place when I am emotionally wounded? Every behavior fulfills a positive intention or need for the person doing it, not for the person they are doing it for. So whatever that Nandipa is doing or did was not for best, like Tina City, hey, she's doing things for love. No, she's being loyal to herself. She, she's fulfilling her own needs. Mm. But what are those needs? Was it, is it emotional? is it financial assets a relationship injalo ubesta ungena ku relationship with his own agenda and then nonandipa ungena with her own agenda but get yeah, because mhlambe kuna ma similarities between bona maybe in terms of his personality mm-hmm. and those needs birds of the same feather flock okay. together we as a sister why is it easy for them into yokubana ba approach sentsho into na bayijonga yo do they check ibana emotionally ukwesiphi state so that they can fulfill whatever agenda abanayo honestly um after having experienced what i experienced and i believe ba if there were limitations if those things were not there if beba ngana access to the outside world as in is into benyeke zenzeke we understand and they would not even meet women like us because ba apha kuboma facebook and they prey on unsuspecting women no ba vulnerable yes mm. we must also account we must also account because we need to make sound decisions right because this person approaches you you are the one who makes a decision to follow up to go and visit him and to be in a relationship but what i'm saying ba kunezinto e ba ne access ba ne access eninzi So what do you think will take for us to reach that liberation yok but okay you've committed a crime we are at jail uzavaleleka akho access ozoyifumana but instead sizambana sikhulise ukuthi xa uphuma apha uphume uqiqile for whatever reason ongenilengayo I just wish ukuba futhi e department of correctional services could allow us to take NLP into prisons because NLP it's a study of the mind mm-hmm. it's neuro linguistic programming and we have ama ama techniques that are content free whereby you are sitting with a person in sala nawe kanje and i take you through a session without you saying anything mena ndikubuza ama questions you answer to yourself and those questions they propel you to take accountability to be accountable for your own decisions choices and actions what choices have i been making and as in figure say apa and he didn't do ndifuna ngempilo yam they force you to reflect from your childhood we are unlike in the content because mount the content when they lamna so that is ama ama techniques are kona gugu nlp i think they would make a difference because they've been doing what they've been doing for many years and it's clearly yeah. not that effective so mm. if they could allow uh, NLP practitioners into prisons and see introduce the EEE NLP that would be great. Mm-hmm. So I want to go back to the story because ndiye nda khawula sangena kwezinye izinto. Funa ubuyela kula engagement ukuthi okay you were in love with this prisoner for four years the engagement ngoku sombona ke ngoku senipila impilo how was it was it different from the prison life uqhube yanjani when he was in prison EEE environment le yabe isuta the nature of the relationship um he had all the time to give me the love uh, he had plenty of time mm-hmm. and he could give me little affection because now he needed 
that antidepressant he needed his support from Minanjoba and Shilomba he had his own agenda but it seems like a agenda be pelela on the day he walked out of prison. So Paul says. Yes, yes. So I mean, I, 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 I let myself down mm. by, by, by not understanding. By agenda, he lomunt ngam. Ipelile. Sakuba wenangeya. The sakuba. As a second So that is why it was difficult for me to let go of him, because I mean, I fully covered his agenda. Mm. But I said Kubek because he's no longer interested. So by doing so, I mean, I became a prisoner of love. Yo. Because I insisted on staying with him when he no, long, he no longer needed me. The mm. Thala, good relationship, gave myself reasons to stay. Mm. Instead of looking for reasons to leave because the relationship had clearly reached an expiry date. Before we wrap this conversation, yeah. there is no way Dingazu Teta and Alinek Pisiago. And Ben Funaman, you can't run the car. Oh, move it. Oh, move it. I'm sure you're going to be bending for Ben Elms on Limaz again. And she key and Dinek key as to show Ba Ebana is a representer this man that I insisted on holding on to like this. That is why I don't walk around in all of my handcuffs. I go my wrist warm because even go cover ye ye no change your bond back. Now I'm my handcuffs. Yes. Do a bandy. I represented this man that I insisted on holding on to when he was no longer interested, when he no longer needed me in his life. So I'm my handcuffs. I wake up. Go my wrist warm. It means bring away, bring a miaga. But that no. Ndiam tan dan abantu ba zautin abantu ba bang kalil ba lomunt magabu yalazo anisha ma true colors especially my friends what are they gonna say now that this person is doing the exact same thing that they warn me about but okay this man is gonna change we are going zanogo so how do I let go because man just sent in all the shame so now I I hold on to him it it was easier it it became easier to live a lie than to live my truth. You are born again. And by doing so, I put myself into a prison mm. of love. I became a prisoner of love by insisting on staying where I was no longer needed. It was clear that he no longer needed me. You went the extra mile. You exceeded yeah. my expectations. As a storyteller, we clearly lengom lomo wai palangi ngwati. Powerful. Thank you so much for opening up to us. And I'm really sure nababu keli be expressions by enjo yilele interview. And they've learned so much. They have so much to take away. And most importantly, loving yourself. Kalanga we yonke into. Well, mugeli, that's all we have time for. I really hope that ufundendo gle interview. Let's continue with the discussion where we discuss, you know, indo ye jele no kubam shambe irreputation process yambanjani. Sankumega no govula ingo go up and I'm shanje eka taba pesta. Korean and the chong I see expressions ya buza peka into bana ingaba in trongo si chongilenjena, zia gwazu vapa nyabantu, okanye they cultivate the crimi the criminal behavior rather. I'm joined in studio by Ukulekani Jovu, who is also an ex offender. Masikwili says kwam kelen kubenu, right? Ketila ninja nonke. Ndia pila. Uh kaskole le banzik na we ukea wabe wa yangen in trongwe ni wa bochelenton. I'm dropping a scatting, seeing a pagat. A shooty so dialogue to a scatting on bush and gas, so less scat. Well, shooty, mentally little cool manga corn and girls, Baba and Telo Vega corn, eh? For me now, who was such a guy and Jay's cat is sitting at Lala eight years. Pagat, Nangans are fifteen at Lala eight years, ne? Go to Anna Lonichella Limchin Chumon, Tiger. Was <laughs> As change, he began as a man bends and I'm a prison. What I want to have as change is for sure. When I see some around in Betin, I want a mom valley room to go to school and valley where mosh in dog made a bay and say for me, advise them. They tell you, number baby, or tell you about her day. A hand is a balanced back, a well fund this was spiritual, be cool and over more. Not a way, I'm going valley room to a mosh of Yamoshakala and give a one for no chonga. We case car, tabo pesta. 
I mean, Kastinga and Gentrongo, Inda Wevali, Kileo, Zesele, Apumdanga Kwazu Puma. But surprisingly, you know, he was able to escape from HL. In Jani life, he said, Jele, where is our space for a criminal, Ba Akwazu Puma, and appeal a soft life, selling a packet? Yeah, Efana na lo mfe tu. Ishugi ile. Ngoba na kona lapo ebe chala kona dhu ebe chazu ebe chala gule lo selda. Kutaiti lapa. Mm. Weabona lente. Ndiya tusa. Weabu uti lo mfe tu. Ril ri upu meganja. Weabona maushale kulugutu. Mm. Haona chance kulugutu. Kuvaliu. Ikulugutu nge ipingo? Ikulugutu lapo totu ushalui wan mautu moshile chile mtambe mkwaze sinis bosho. Mm. Bengi tatebe mvale la kona. Ikulugutu chukuti singli sela uti ngebege ganja. La posta la konu iwa nuto la koni punishment iwa, weyabon. Koto la pa ona tuva lokti, lokti engai enzuko tu ngapu maganja. Ngadi mazum tu koto angezo pume ngomnyango lo. Ngoba ipoisa ilo ne umerele kufule lo bene access lo pume pume gela. Koto yangu tu sana mle. Mm. So, because uh, when I was checking on social media, Omnia Bantu raised a concern of the overcrowding. But it's even hard to implement as programs as such because of the issue of the overcrow overcrowding. Ungati says the Pimsambe is in Yizinto, as Bange Lukbana, as the programs as Koyo, Emma Jeles, and Abiko effective. Oh, yes, we told you in Bonanje, would Uvalele wash our cool, ne? Then would Beba keep a background in Bosha or Moya. Kunenda <laughs> Into nga ishu kuti na bumele beza amu nga kwenye nkale la kale nguzwile nkale di spirituality. Yes. Kuti spirituality tumele sifige ema chele. Mm. Beza amu babu hatewe, bemtele. So spirituality is the solution to it's this problem. It's the solution, yabo. Right, Mogile Wam, we continue with the discussion. Make sure that you do interact with us on our social media platforms. Ucho wenba utungandoni ngale nga kosina yongo kumasiti kui evengile ni do not move a muscle. We'll be right back. Of course, welcome back and thank, thanks uh, very much for staying with us right here on Expressions on SABC One. And now today, uh, Mugedi Wam, we are still continuing to talk about uh, the Tabo Besta saga that uh, transpired. And Sebuza Apokwe Ekaya in Dokogbana, do you think that prisons rehabilitate or actually cultivate criminal behavior? Well, in studio, I'm still joined as we wrap this conversation up uh, by the Correctional Services spokesperson, Utata Usingabako Numalo. Do you think uh, the state of prisons in South Africa, Tata, is well maintained? The Correctional Services the system does work. We have many inmates who served the time placed on parole that have done wonders. And we continue to profile them where they are able to start their own businesses and even employ ordinary members of society. Mm -hmm. But those are stories that you will hardly read about because they are not of interest. You will only hear uh, about something once a parolee has done something wrong or once someone has escaped. Because even when you look at our figures in terms of escapes, they've been decreasing over the years. All right. But once a person has escaped, mm -hmm. people have to really make noise and we appreciate that because a correctional facility has to make it impossible for someone to escape but for every escape to happen it has to be assisted so mm. it is no longer about an issue whether there is overcrowding or not okay. whether there are programs or no programs it's something that people plan and involve other parties and once they succeed a person will escape mm -hmm. but we initiate re-arrest, but as a department, our mission is to have zero escape. So mm -hmm. the moment a person escapes, it does concern us. But mm -hmm. our programs do work. We continue to review them because the inmate that we have today okay. is different from the one that we had 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. Even the crime patterns have changed. Mm -hmm. I think the Tower Pesta phenomenon does explain that. Okay. So as a department, we are saying, yes, our programs do work. Where there are gaps, we 
continue to attend to them. It may not be 100% perfect, mm -hmm. but it's a work that continues to improve. All those that have done something wrong must be brought forward and they must first face the music. There is no other way. Mm -hmm. If you've done something wrong, there are consequences face to the that. Might of the you law. ought to face the music. There is no other way about it. All right. Now, just in closing, as we wrap this conversation up, do you think prisons, they rehabilitate criminal behavior or they actually cultivate it? Correctional centers have done a lot, one, to correct off an offending behavior mm -hmm. and to then re or to, to assist people in terms of re, uh, refocusing them into the future by arming them with necessary skills. Mm -hmm. We've seen it when people go out, get necessary support, they're able to change their lives. The few that go back into the life of crime are the ones who disappoint us. Hence, the moment, the moment we pick up that they've done something wrong, we mm -hmm. need to attend it there and there. At times, they run away, but we've seen with Tabo Pesta, you, you cannot run away and succeed, mm -hmm. you know, from, you know, from, mm -hmm. the, from the floor. Eventually, you know, it will catch up with you. Yeah. Tabo Pesta is back behind bars. He has to serve his sentence. But our quest to the public out there, mm -hmm. do support people when they're placed out on parole, because that will assist them in the reform process so that they can find themselves and realize that indeed a second chance is something that is possible. So you can take us as the viewers into confidence that correctional services actually does rehabilitate people, especially with the programs that you offer. We can even take people to the projects that ex-inmates parolees are running. Mm -hmm. employing ordinary members of society so that with skills that they learned behind bars mm -hmm. we've got people who are running bakeries they that never worked you know or never had a skill before they went behind mm -hmm. bars mm -hmm. but today they run their own bakeries they right. run their own farms they supply goods to uh, chain stores mm -hmm. it's things that are possible but support is all that is needed. That's all, that's, that's all that is needed. Well, thank you very much for being with us in studio. That is, of course, uh, the Correctional Services spokesperson, Ota Dausinga Bakonumalo. And uh, just like that, Kolosa, we are wrapping up the conversation, State of uh, Prisons. Oh, yes. Thank you so much to all our guests, you know, for this informative discussion. Come, Nand.